The Witcher. We'll be honest, I have never read any of the books, and I've never played any of the games. Until just last night, where I decided, after I finished all eight episodes of the Witcher Netflix series, I decided to go and look up Steam, pick up The Witcher 1 and 2 for under $5. Not each, but both. And now I think I will actually play through the game, starting with the very first one. And I'm also going to be uh, exploring the books as well, because I'm very intrigued into the lore of the witcher series that being said i do want to talk about the netflix original show i'm excited to say that it's actually really really well done some of the cgi may not be the best but for a show on netflix the uh, level of storytelling and craftsmanship for the uh, set designs and costumes even the acting was all top notched and i really really enjoyed it Kid you not, I was thinking about maybe just watching the first two episodes, but I ended up falling in love with the show where I decided to commit to a full-on eight-hour binge of the, the Witcher show. And uh, I dedicated my Sunday for that. It was a day where I wanted to relax and chill. And I decided to watch The Witcher. And I don't regret it at all because it was really entertaining and I really want to go back and, and watch some more of it uh it, it wasn't perfect there was obviously uh some downsides to this amazing show um there was a uh, one episode in particular i uh, really started dozing off to which was unfortunate and that would be episode three believe it or not um it was very interesting and intriguing episode i did enjoy it don't get me wrong um it just wasn't as strong for me as the other ones it, it did had a lot of uh throwbacks to the original game as well but um i just wasn't a fan of episode three i don't know it, it, it was just weird um but like i said before the acting was great uh henry cavill that's the big question, right? Henry Cavill as Geralt of Aravia. How did he perform? Did he work out? Do people like him? I don't know what anyone else thinks, but he was perfect as uh, Geralt. Now, I may have said I never played the game, but I've seen people play them. I've had friends, family members who play them. And uh, overall, I, I know about the character. I, I understand what a witcher is. This wasn't really uh, unfamiliar territory for me. I knew what the main character was all about. Now, watching Henry Henry Cavill uh, portray Geralt was phenomenal and uh, uh just just to hear that um the costumes designer was having a hard time with Henry due to Henry apparently wearing down the costume and causing it to rip and tear um only because Henry is very buff man that's that's very funny it's something that while watching I couldn't help but kind of like look at the way the outfit that he was wearing was just squeezing the living hell out of his body. I can't imagine how uncomfortable he must have been while filming some of these fight scenes and stuff like that. It must have been pretty bad, but he seems to enjoy his time with the film. By the way, if I didn't mention this, this is a non-spoiler video. We're not really gonna get into any uh, story stuff for it. I'm just overall talking about if it's worth the watch. And I'm gonna tell you right now, yeah, it's worth it's worth the watch. Um, you don't need to binge watch it like I did uh, at all. You don't need to do that. Watch an episode a day, but it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's entertaining. It, it does not mean you have to get into the games or anything like that. Just go in it blind if you haven't played the games and enjoy it. And if you have played the games, there will be some things you'll probably nitpick. Characters like Thriss, she, uh, when I first, when I started playing The Witcher 1, I noticed, hey, uh, Thriss in this is, is a redhead. He has very bright red hair. And the show, she didn't. So um, there's things like that that uh, fans can nitpick. But I think the show is... 100% good and enjoyable except for that third episode you guys may think third episode was fine it was good I don't know what happened with me in third episode it just uh, maybe uh, I'll watch it again I'm going from just my first watch and literally a binge watch because I watched it from beginning to end and uh enjoyed it uh, a lot of the other uh, supporting characters were really good uh, one of the other main characters was Siri very interesting character indeed it, it was it's uh, one of those tragic stories in a way due to the fact that she she has some untapped powers and uh, it was basically being hidden from her. Uh, I mean, I'm sure she knew it and always sensed it, but uh, it seems like her family just did not want her knowing any of the truth and were keeping her in the dark about a lot of things. Siri isn't the most 
compelling character but it was definitely interesting especially what she goes through and i'm hoping that more of her is fleshed out in season two and beyond now we also have jennifer who is by far the most interesting character out of the entire show she goes from like just this poor uh hated young woman into what i would like to call a just a powerful goddess in a way from the day you see her and from the day in the last day on the show there is a complete change she's almost not even the same character uh she definitely has one of those like phoenix rise from the ashes kind of story arcs and her backstory is very dark just very very dark so dark that it even goes to her wanting to end her own life or actually even trying to because she's known nothing but suffering and pain to the point where her guardians actually just offer her up for a coin just not even a lot a few coins they're just like yeah take her i don't i don't want to deal with her it's very very sad and emotional uh but to see what she ends up going through and it, it, it's great it's really good i i feel um I feel like there needs to be more to her though uh because one of the things about her is she she wants to be able to be a mom and there's a reason she can't be and that's kind of her goal uh in the later episodes and it's um it's a wild ride for sure and i uh i hope there's more to her than just that in the later seasons in the first season, I'm perfectly fine with it. She uh, definitely just had a great arc throwing off her true powers, and it was phenomenal. It was definitely phenomenal. Uh, some of the enemies in the show were also interesting. Fringilla, which was one of the uh, enemy uh, mages that were uh, against Yennefer and all she stood for, really, was um, they were pretty powerful mages. Uh, there's not really much. The, the motive was just basically conquer and destroy kind of motive. I, I was perfectly fine with it there were other characters as well that i'm not going to get too far into what i really enjoy about the show was the fact that Geralt never chose sides everything kind of with him just falls into place as it just goes on he doesn't believe in destiny but i feel like that is his destiny to do what he's been doing to be in the right place at the right time is uh kind of his destiny he's also bound to Siri, which is the little girl in the, in the, sh in the show. He's actually supposed to be uh, protecting. Also, one thing before we, we finish up and wrap up here. One of the things um, probably people are going to find a little annoying is the way the show jumps around. Um, I feel like at the end, once I finished the, the show, everything made sense. Uh, to some people, while you're watching it, it might not. I'm glad I binge watched it. So I understand some people will not like it because the time jumps are really weird at first i was confused at times but luckily i was able to piece things together and understand it better but uh, i i don't have a problem with it not at all really and i think it's worth watching for sure do you guys uh think it's worth checking out for yourselves if you haven't watched already and did i at least pique your interest into actually diving in into watching the witcher and if you uh did watch it already what did you think about it let me know your own little personal review down in the comment section i don't care how long it is if you want to write a lot go right ahead i'll read it all and i will respond i want to hear your thoughts thank you very much for watching stick around by hitting the subscribe button and if you enjoyed the video and enjoy the content don't forget to hit the like button boss needs your help thank you guys but as always don't forget to always keep on keeping on peace I'll take that chance.